If you need multiple people to use computers in a close physical space, such as a lab, a bank, a call center, or even home, you actually do not need to buy separate computers for each person. One desktop system can be used by two or three people at the same time as if they all have their own computer. They can even have different operating systems. This is uh, achieved by virtually splitting one physical hardware into multiple virtual machines, each having its own share of processing power, memory, storage and peripherals. To the application software run by each user, it appears as if each person has a different hardware. Now, graphics performance is usually a bottleneck in these virtualized settings. This can be solved using GPU pass-through. With that, you can get very close to native performance for each user. What I have here is a mini PC, two monitors and two sets of keyboard and mouse. This mini PC is an Intel NUC and this has two HDMI ports. You can find many desktops and mini PCs in the market with multiple graphics ports. On switching on, the base OS comes up which is Ubuntu. This is still a one person system and the second monitor can only be used as an extension of the desktop. Now I am going to run a script which will virtually split this into two different PCs. We just got two PCs which can be used by two different users. As you can see, each user can have a different operating system of their choice. Here one is Windows and the other one is Linux. Now in both of the systems, I am streaming high definition video from YouTube and it works perfectly fine. This is made possible by enabling GPU pass-through using Intel's GVTG technology. To know more, check the links in the description of this video.